The 9.0 magnitude earthquake that struck Japan on March 11th triggered a powerful tsunami that devastated the coast north of Tokyo. Eleven operating nuclear reactors at the four power plants closest to the quake's epicenter were shut down automatically, but the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear complex bore the brunt of the one-two punch. The quake disrupted the electric power the reactors used to run their cooling facilities. The reactors switched to backup diesel generators, but the tsunami then swept in and shut down the generators. If there is not enough water in the reactor core, water turns to steam and is released into a suppression pool circling the reactor. The steam carried hydrogen that blasted the roofs off the reactor buildings in units 1 and 3. Workers began injecting seawater with boron into the reactors in an attempt to prevent a meltdown. The situation grew more dire after a blast near or in the suppression pool of Unit 2, which may have created a path for radioactive material to escape. Fires in Unit 4 raised fears that spent fuel was burning. There were conflicting reports over the amount of water remaining in the spent fuel pools at the complex. Water is needed to prevent radiation releases. Japanese officials intensified efforts to bring the plant under control, using helicopters and fire hoses to douse reactors with water.